Philip Gordon received. My nickname's TT, Turtle Mountain Trapper. I still see them as young kids. I see them, I, that picture has never left my mind, never will. The Turtle Mountain's been the home of the Métis people forever. And it's because of that mountain that we're here. They come to the Turtle Mountain because of the fishing, hunting, Trapping, that's what brought them. I used to see my uncles pull traps out with beavers in them, uh, and mink, and they would trap martens, and they'd trap squirrels, and they'd trap every animal that was a fur-bearing animal to get enough money for groceries and clothes for us. My dad did it because he loved doing it just like I did. That's why my dad did it, and he, he had 10 of us to look after. So he, he had to do something. That's what he did in the wintertime, was trap. I'll fight for my trap line. I'll go to court or whatever I have to do to keep it. Because it's not something you give away to somebody. And and there's only two father-son trap lines left. And that's the, my dad's trap line and my uncle Lawrence's trap line. The other 12 trap lines don't have anything to do with the family that started those trap lines. And that's sad, because we're losing that. As a young man, I went to the trappers meetings with all the old trappers and I listened to all the stuff. And, and like, we fought to keep those trap lines. And, and they fought hard, eh? But uh, when you're dealing with the government, then you gotta, you gotta obey by the government rules. And sometimes they're not the right rules for that. You know what I mean? Because uh, if they, we'd lose these trap lines, this, we'd, everybody would be out of a lifestyle. Because it was a lifestyle in the mountain, uh, trapping all the time. Like uh, that brought the bread and butter home and everything, and, and, and it's worth fighting for, right? And we're going to keep fighting for it. We're not letting them take them away or nothing if they try, because we have to have those trap lines. I want those trap lines for my boys, my grandkids, the same thing as my grandpa and my dad wanted them for, right? So, I mean, they're worth fighting for, and we're going to keep fighting for them. never be afraid of anything because that's I was brought up that way by my uncles my aunts my mom the, the, not to be scared of nothing I've come against cougars stood there watched them they watched me 
had my gun on my back, left it there. The cougar went, I just walked by where he was. I've seen him a lot of times in the bush, and I call its name Kitty. I call it Kitty, and it's a big one. And I'm not scared of it, and it's not scared of me. They sense it. An animal sense is fear. If you took off running, it would chase you. If you stand there and look at it, it'll go away. I have places on my trap line that I do not allow sleds on or anything. It has to be walked in, it has to be trapped by foot because that's the way my dad trapped it. I highly respect all my elders, even the ones that are deceased. I still think about them. I have lots of memories of them. And that's what keeps me going, is the memories of my elders. They make me stronger too. My mom could set a trap just as good as any man. She can clean a beaver, she can do all the dressings on fur, she's been doing it for years. She knows how to stretch, she knows how to skin, she knows everything about it. Probably one of the few people besides my Auntie Ella that trapped actually with their husbands. So she, that's why she knows so much. She's probably better trapper than me if we went out there. We wouldn't get sticks like we got today. <laughs> uh, the most precious load I ever brought out of the Turtle Mountains was three young girls. Coming dark at night, 35 below, 40 below, and crashed their sled and lost and they walked into the park. They walked the wrong way, of course, and I found them. I brought them back to the West Cabin where I warmed them up. I, I followed their tracks where their sled was. I fixed their sled got a going, and two of them hopped in my sleigh and rode in my sleigh with my beavers. But they got on their sled, and I took them all the way back where they're, to the cottage where their parents were, and dropped them off, and give them the bush wave, and haven't seen them since. That's 25 years ago. It was an unregular route that I had taken that night for some reason, and I even quizzed myself. But when I seen the girls, I realized somebody took me there. Something made me turn and go that way and find those girls. I was very happy to be the one to find them and to be able to help them. So in my heart, I, I am a hero, I guess. We wouldn't have fought for the trap lines. We wouldn't have had them for me to even be in there to go in and, and, and save those girls. It's been 25 years since I did send or whatever, and I haven't heard or seen anything of the girls. But I know they're alive, so that's a good thing. <laughs> they jumped off, they went their way, I went mine.
You can visit with your cousins. You can play out in the woods. You can eat the wild berries. Fresh air will do you good. Well, my cousin Phil and Dawn and I, we stole my granny's tub. We headed out across that slough just to sing and rub a dub dub. Well, that ship she started leaking. She was a going down. It was just as well we were catching hands.